hi welcome to statistics made easy in today's video we shall cover scatter plot correlation coefficient and significant test for correlation so let us consider a data set wherein we are taking 69 observations of various cancer patient who have survived and the respective age in year also is recorded so we shall draw a scatter plot for uh, these observations survival versus age command is plot dot scatter so data dot plot dot scatter within bracket x is equal to so here we have the two variables and say for example on x axis i want age and on y axis y is equal to i will take survival in number of days the patient has survived after the surgery and say for example color i want red so color is within coat red so if color is not given it will take default color as blue so this scatter plot is in front of you wherein survival is indicated on y axis and age is there in x axis so now let us change the color to green and the plot is changed to a green color rest of the things are same so similar to excel we can rename the x and y axis and even give the title to the chart so let's consider a command set underscore title to rename the title of this plot so within bracket within quote we shall give the name of this scatter so i will give a plot name as scatter plot for cancer patients and i want x axis to be labeled as age in number of years so i will give command as dot set underscore x labels within bracket within quote you we'll consider age in number years and similarly we'll rename y axis also using set dot underscore y label and here the label is survival after surgery in days so let's run this so see there is no plot because we have forgotten the earlier command so the parent command data dot plot scatter is must of this particular success of this plot so the graph is in front of you where it is renamed to scatter plot for cancer patients having x axis as age in number of years and y axis as survival in number of days the patient has survived for so this is about plotting a scatter plot see uh, looking at the scatter plot we are not or nobody will be in position to draw any conclusion out of this so we'll try to find out a correlation between age and survival variables so using command dot cor round bracket will have a correlation so see uh, between age and survival there is a negative correlation so you can see there is a inverse proportion between survival and age so as the age increases chances of survival reduces so now uh, there is a need to find out a significance of correlation coefficient also so let us uh, import pearson r pearson r within bracket data into rectangular bracket survival within rectangular bracket age and so in output you can see uh, there are two values first is a negative correlation of minus 0.12955 which is nothing but a value of correlation coefficient and second value 0.2887 is nothing but a p-value uh, to interpret this data let us consider a hypothesis wherein uh, null hypothesis is a status quo where uh, the survival and age has got no relationship between each other 
Alternate hypothesis is that there is a significant correlation between the survival and age. So considering a level of significance as 0.05% which is a default value in Python uh, and if we compare this value with respect to p-value which is 0.2887 means 28.87% which is more than our level of significance. So p-value lies in a acceptance region. This means that uh, hypo we are failing to reject a null hypothesis and thus there is no significant correlation between survival and age of the patients. So this was all about plotting scatter plot, finding out correlation coefficient and testing for correlation coefficient. So if you like our video, do like, share and subscribe our channel to get fascinating inputs on Python statistics. Thank you.